Hi friends, the Thack here for the noobs. Call of Duty Season 5 Reloaded is on the way. I'm going to give you some insights into what is coming in the Season 5 Reloaded update. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. This update goes live next Thursday, that's the 9th of September. In multiplayer, there's going to be a new map. Actually, it's just a 6v6 version of Zoo, which you'll be familiar with if you've played Outbreak. There is also a new game mode called Demolition. This is from previous COD games and is similar to Search and Destroy, but with a few differences. Keep a lookout for our video on this new game mode next week and we'll talk you through exactly how to play this new game mode. There are some updates for zombies as well. Outbreak is getting a new region called Armada. It's actually the same as the boat map you'll find if you're familiar with multiplayer. I think this one could be a lot of fun. I'll be interested to see if zombies can actually swim. There is also going to be a new world event on Outbreak called Black Chest. Keep a lookout for our video on that because it will likely give you some good loot and potentially a wonder weapon. There will also be a new feature called the Rampage Inducer, plus a new game mode coming a little bit later called Survival and this will be part of Outbreak. There are a bunch of new bundles coming as well, including a Judge Dredd bundle. If you don't know who Judge Dredd is, there was a Sylvester Stallone movie a while ago called Judge Dredd, and that movie was based on a comic book series, which was fairly popular. There was also a remake with Carl Urban in 2012. So it remains to be seen who the voice of this Judge Dredd will be, but you can imagine it will be in a similar kind of vein as when we had the Rambo and the John McClane characters introduced. This is a bundle for the Judge Dredd, so it will likely bring some weapon blueprints that could have some cool tracer rounds. I imagine it will cost around 2400 COD points. There are a few other bits coming as part of this update, and this includes some new game modes and seasonal events in Warzone. Overall, I would say this is a decent update for Call of Duty Cold War, and it's a good thing to have to keep us entertained until Vanguard arrives. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.